Hi there, Lisa. Hit the fat one. Finally, I'm getting around to doing your 10 questions thing. It took me forever to do it, man. Okay, uh, what song reminds you of your high school days? Uh, that's going to be Neil Young's Horse With No Name for the simple reason that uh, I don't know about these days in school, but when I was going, they had this thing every year called the Battle of the Bands where they, you know, have a competition amongst the local bands. And that seemed to be, at the time, one of the more most covered songs there was was Horse With No Name. And, yeah, I actually got, I heard it so much I kind of got tired of it. And to this day, even though it's a reasonably good song, I'm still kind of tired of it. And, you know, I think if I went through that, if I was going to ride a horse in the desert, I would give it a name. So, Neil Young should have gave your horse a name. It wouldn't have been the same song. I went through the desert on a horse with a name. Uh, show me your geekiest picture and your best picture. Okay, um, here's my best picture. And that is my uh, one of my first cousins uh, there next to me. And this picture is from 1993. And here's my geekiest picture of myself. Uh, I don't know if you'd really call this my geekiest picture or my gayest picture, to tell the truth of the matter. <laughs> I sort of have that pose going there, don't I? But uh, anyway, that, I'm the one on the right with a, with a weird-looking pose, and that's my brother off to the left. Okay, Number three, what's your favorite phrase that you use most often? Well, this is not really much of a phrase, but uh, I, whenever somebody says something that's that's kind of obviously agreeable, I guess you would say. I say, you got that right. And that's a D-A-T. Got that right. Eh, not much of a not much of a phrase, is it? But, yeah, eh, you got that right. That's it. Uh, uh, number four, whose YouTube profile do you visit most often, regardless of whether they have videos or not, up or not? I'll, I'll just go with three here. Uh, Suburban Lom. Kurt 344 and Furnifer. Number five, if you could look like anyone else, who would it be? I can't pick just one person. I'm, I'm going to go with, uh, with uh, two people, I believe. Yeah, two people. So that would be uh, Michael Landon from Bonanza, Little House on the Prairie frame. And of course, uh, I like his longer haired look more so than the early days. And the other one would be... And that, of course, would be Ricky Nelson from, uh, well, Ozzy and Harriet way back. But I'm thinking of him more so from his singer days in the later later years. And again, the, the longer haired uh, uh, Rick Nelson. Uh, are you obsessive about anything? Uh, I'm a little obsessive about my YouTube videos uh, as far as doing as far as the number of takes I do. Uh, I know Lisa on your recent song collaboration which uh, you're still working on I did I did well we'll say I did over 10 takes. <laughs> yep over 10 takes. It may not sound like it when you listen to them but but I tried hard on them and just in general uh, the things there's some things well a lot of things that I do, that I really do like to do well, and I'll just keep at it and at it and at it until I either get as good as I think I'm going to get, or it finally just meets my minimum requirements. Not like that about everything, just, just select things. I'm not like that about my housekeeping. <laughs> okay, number nine, uh, what is your favorite quote? Well, this doesn't probably doesn't even qualify as a quote because I don't know if uh, the author is known, and uh, I'll just preface this by saying I'm 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 really not a religious person, and I'm not a, a drinker, much less an alcoholic. But I really have always liked the uh, AA Serenity uh, Serenity saying, uh, "God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can." and the wisdom to know the difference. 
I'm just always like that saying, you know, just for some reason. Show me something interesting that you own. Okay, now this was one of the harder things because just most everything I own is really not all that interesting. Most of the stuff I own is just crap. <laughs> but uh, right here, I have a chest. I'll just put my hand up here so you can see, get an idea of the scale of it. And it's really an interest. It's got all these intricate uh, carvings on it. I mean, it's just shapes. It's not a carving of something necessarily. But I, I think this is an interesting chest here. I got this in uh, Nuevo Laredo. It's probably in Mexico, just across the Mexican border, Texas Mexico border. Probably what's well, been a good 20 years ago, I guess I got this. And I just, I just really, it's, it's kind of hard to dust, but that doesn't uh, <clears throat> really come into play very often, anyhow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I forget what I forget what I paid for it or anything. But uh, it's just a, it's just a cool. Just a cool chest. I wish I knew. I wish I knew what type of wood this was made out of. I doubt if anybody can can look at this and tell me what kind of wood this is made of. That area there doesn't necessarily have a a lot of trees. It's pretty pretty dry area. There's a lot of. I think there's a lot of mesquite, but uh, I don't know if um, I don't know if a mesquite ever gets big enough to make any kind of. Uh, furniture type deals out of but at any rate it's got I think it had uh, maybe a must have a price tag here this looks like it needs to be goo gone but if I goo gone it it's not we'll take the lacquer off of it or whatever is on it there so yeah I I like my chest it's a pretty cool chest so hope that answers your questions there uh, Lisa so goodbye everybody Oh, <laughs>